Okay, just wanted to quickly show everyone OpenShell on Windows 11. So I'm currently running version 184. It's not quite the latest version, but it's basically an insider preview. It's fairly stable. I'm almost using it as my daily driver at the moment. Um, so yeah, so normally we've got menu in the middle. That's fine. Uh, if I wanna get an app, let's say I wanna open Libra. I've got it in uh, Office folder, Libra Writer, so it's three clicks, scroll, mouse move, and eventually it opens with Open Shell, single click, Office, and a second click, and boom, so much faster. So currently running the latest beta version, 44169, everything seems to be okay, the only thing that isn't okay is when I do full glass or smoked glass which I actually prefer sometimes this becomes incredibly laggy maybe half a second or more so basically unusable I thought this was a uh, Microsoft <laughs> I thought there'd been an update and Microsoft were trying to destroy it wouldn't surprise me but just changing it to classic skin fixes it sometimes it works okay sometimes it doesn't I'm can't be bothered to change it uh, all the time so I'll just leave it on classic skill I have my mini delay set to 20 because that's just what I look and I prefer the classic style just because it's faster for me rather than two columns or style because everything just opens automatically and I also have things like control panel and network connections open as a menu so I don't have to do another click so yeah seems to be pretty good I would recommend it I think it works fine uh, this, if you don't know what this is, this is style fence is super handy if you want to put all your icons in a um, basically a little folder on your desktop. Uh, yeah, but OpenShell works great. Uh, the only thing that doesn't work great is the fact that the this doesn't replace the start menu button. So if we have uh, look here, replace start button. That just goes over the top. Now, if I move this across, so we go personalization. Um, taskbar, uh, taskbar behaviors, and put it on the left. You might be able to see there's an overlap between the two. So it's always there. And if I click replace, it just sits over the top. You've got that just off to the right, you've got the normal button. So that's the only problem at the moment, which is uh, I don't really like this menu. So I'm leaving it in the middle just to see if I get used to it eventually. This is obviously what Microsoft want. It does seems pretty stupid because this, as you get more and more icons across here, obviously this button will start moving left. Whereas if the start button's always in the same place, then your muscle memory always goes to that point. It's just faster. So just for the, I'm just gonna leave it like this at the moment. Uh, yeah, I've got this here, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so far so good. So definitely works, give it a shot if you prefer the uh, classic style menu and hopefully Microsoft don't ruin it.